Hello, this is Chef John from FoodWishes.com with How to Stuff a Pork Loin. That's right. This is not so much a recipe as it is a techniques video. I'm going to show you how to butterfly stuff, wrap in cull fat, and then finally tie and roast. And while I'd love to take credit for this, I got the idea, and the meat by the way, from Pat Lafrida and Sons in New York City. That's right, the celebrity butchers to the stars. So let me show you my method for doing this. It is super easy, requires no skills or special equipment. So first up, we need a boneless pork loin roast. This technique, by the way, will work with just about any size, but I'd say like a five to six pound piece is gonna be just about perfect. All right, you got your fat side. We're gonna flip it over to the meat side. And a pork loin's kind of tapered. On the right, it's a little thicker than on the left there. So I want you to find the tapered end. And I'm saying end, I really should be saying side, the tapered side because that's where we're gonna start our cut. Our first cut's gonna be about a 45 degree angle, and we're gonna make like an inch deep incision, just like that, and then we're gonna turn the knife basically parallel to the board. So we're not really cutting down, we're not really cutting up, we're just cutting straight across, and we're gonna make a whole bunch of like one inch cuts, and every time we make that cut, the pork will unroll a little further. Now a real butcher can do this in just a few cuts, but this is way easier for the amateur. There's really no way to screw this up as long as you're going nice and slow. And if you're worried about all those cut marks, don't be. You'll see when we cut this open, those will be completely invisible. And you can see what's happening here from the side because our knife is sort of parallel to the cutting board. We're getting a fairly uniform thickness. And with each slice, we can unroll it a little further. And of course, we're gonna go all the way to the end as far as we can go. And there we go. We have tons of surface area now to stuff and roll. And if we take a look at this from the ends, there's one little extra thing I want you to look for. One side of a pork loin is going to be a little bigger than the other. So you see that side pretty uniform, pretty even. But if I turn it, this side has that little extra thick muscle there. I like to make an extra cut or two right in that to sort of flatten that out a little bit. And I'm going to probably say this four or five times during this video, but don't worry about perfection. Once this is stuffed and rolled and wrapped and tied and roasted, it's going to look perfect. All right, a pork loin can sense fear. Do not play scared. That pretty much goes for anything in life, but especially butterflying a pork loin. Once the butterflying portion is done, we're going to season both sides generously with salt and pepper. And the reason you got to be generous is that's a lot of meat. So you really want to season it well. We'll flip it over, season the meat side. And once the meat is seasoned, we're going to go ahead and stuff it. Now, this is going to work with any bread stuffing. Whatever works for your turkey will work here. You want about three cups of stuffing. Like I said, this is a techniques video for how to do the pork, so I'm not going over how I made the stuffing. It was a very standard bread stuffing. Celery, onions, garlic, bread cubes, some stock, some herbs. And I had a whole bunch of dried figs. And you want to pat that down nice and firmly. Stop about an inch from each side and give yourself a few inches on the top. By the way, we want to roll from the end we finished the cut at towards where we started our cut. And then simply roll it up firmly, but not too firm. You don't want to squish out the stuffing. And of course, you always want to end up with the cut on the bottom. All right, we're going to set that aside. And onto our cutting board, we're going to lay out some of this. Cull fat. That's a fatty membrane that surrounds the organs in a pig or a cow or a lamb or whatever animal. I believe this is from a pig. And you may remember this stuff from such science fiction horror films as... Every one of them. But don't worry, as scary as this looks, it's gonna give the finished roast an amazing color. It's gonna keep it very moist. Pork loin is very, very lean. So it's perfect for adding moisture and flavor. And we're gonna spread that out on our cutting board, one or two layers. You wanna overlap it a little bit. And that was probably five or six pieces. If there's any holes, you can just patch it with a smaller piece. And then you're simply gonna place your stuffed pork loin on the cull fat in the back and just roll forward. All right, tuck it in the sides. If there's any excess and it looks like there's going to be like a big knot of cull fat, you can just pull that off. And again, do not worry about being too precise. Once this is tied and roasted, you will not see any mistakes or spots where it was a little thin or a little thick. It will all look perfect, promise. And that is cull fat wrapped. So we've butterflied, we've stuffed, and we've wrapped in cull fat. The last step is, of course, the tying. And we're going to use the simple homemaker method. Forget those fancy butcher knots and trussing. I want you to take a single piece of string about a foot long. So put the string underneath, bring it up over the top, and then instead of just twisting the string once, I want you to give it at least four or five twists because that tension will help you cinch it up and it will hold until you make that final knot. And I want you to do three or four ties on one end, 
I want you to do three or four ties on the other end and then finish in the center. This is a great tip for making it nice and even and uniform. If you start from one end and go all the way, it's a little harder. And again, the key really is twisting that string five or six times before you cinch it down. That's really gonna hold everything in place. So that's looking good. Once your pork is tied, it's ready for the final phase, which is roasting. I'm gonna use a heavy metal roasting pan, of course. I'm gonna throw a sliced onion underneath, throw that pork loin on there. And we're gonna put that in a very, very hot 450 degree oven for 15 minutes just to get that outside seared. Then we're gonna reduce our heat down to 325 and we're gonna roast that until the internal temperature reaches 140. So mine took about an hour and a half and when it was done, it looked so beautiful. I thought it was fake and I made it. And the juices from that cull fat and the onions and of course the stuffing in the pork itself makes these beautiful pan drippings that we will spoon on later as you'll see. All right, we have to let that rest at least 10 to 15 minutes. If you don't, you're crazy. But after that, I'm gonna take a knife, I'm gonna slice that open, and you're gonna see a butterfly stuffed roasted pork loin in all its spirally glory. Come on. Of course, you're gonna remove that string before you serve this. There's an old restaurant rhyme that goes, if your customer eats some string, your lawyer's phone will start to ring. And it really is true, so be careful. So pull that off. I'm gonna throw that on a plate, maybe with a baked potato. Spoon over some of the pan drippings. Of course, those little droplets are fat. You need that, pork loin's super lean. And those melted drippings from the call fat are gonna give it just enough richness and moistness to counteract that leanness. And just look at that. It tasted every bit as delicious as it looked. Moist, juicy, flavorful. Just a beautiful, beautiful technique. So whether you get your meat from a celebrity butcher or not, and I only said that to brag, or just from your friendly neighborhood butcher, this will come out spectacularly. So I really, really hope you give it a try. Head over to foodwishes.com for all the ingredient amounts and more info as usual. And as always, enjoy.